Hello everybody. If you remember in the previous video, we finalized the uh, lecture with this uh, model. Okay, so we have armature control DC motor which is connected to the load which has an inertia and viscous damper. Okay, and finally we computed that or we uh, derived that this uh, system, electromechanical system, has a block like structure which can be modeled using this topology. Of course, there can be different kind of topologies which can give the same input output dynamics, that's fine, okay? So what we can do is, for example, we can decompose these components into two uh, pieces, uh, I, and I can show some examples later for that. But the basic idea is block diagram topologies similar to state space representations are not unique. There exist many different topologies which can give similar results, okay? In today's lecture, what we will do is we will make this problem a little bit more complex, okay? And what are we going to do is, now uh, we connected a torsional spring to the load, which is connected to ground. And now our output is not just the velocity, output is the angular displacement of the load. And of course, since we have a torsional spring acting on the system, it should change the block diagram structure and equations of motion a little bit. What I can do is, I can start from the beginning, I can draw the block diagram and try to simplify it later. But since almost everything is same, uh, and technically we don't change anything, we only add something uh, with respect to previous modeling uh, framework from this, what I can do is maybe I can use the previous block diagram, modify it a little bit to find the block diagram structure for this system. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so this is the block diagram topology. Input is voltage, it's the same. Output is angular velocity. Angular velocity is a state, but it's not the output of the system. Okay, that's fine. As you can see, I didn't change anything from the electrical part. Okay, let's, uh, okay, that's good. Uh, I don't change the load. I don't change the damping. I only add a stiffness. Okay, that's nice. So I need to modify it a little bit. And I need a new state, the angle. Okay, so it's very easy, as you, you will see from here. Okay. So first of all, what is theta? Theta is the integral of the angular velocity. So what I can do is, very simple, I can add a new block here. Okay, let's do it like this. Okay, let's move it a little bit. Okay, that's nice. Okay, that's very good. Okay, so since I need an integrator, I need to write one over S here. Now I have theta s. Okay, so I made the most critical uh, modification to this block diagram structure. That's good. But the, the point is, uh, I didn't uh, add the effect of the torsional spring. Okay, in order to understand the effect of this, what I should do is first write the equations of motion with respect to the load inertia. Okay, so let's remember we write with this fact j times omega dot is equal to torque. That's same, that's great. Minus beta times omega, that's everything. But I need to also add effect of the torsional spring, which is equal to minus kappa times theta, because this torsional spring is only connected to ground and it resists the motion in terms of angular displacement. Okay, this is neat. So, what I did, if you remember uh, our previous slide, is I move this to this part. And I take the uh, Laplace transform, so it was Js plus beta times omega s is equal to tor minus kappa theta. Okay, that's great. So I can use this. So omega s, or let's say omega s, is simply equal to torque minus kappa theta s. Of course, I need to add s here. Okay, let's be consistent. Torque S, torque S. So gamma S is equal to, so this is a J S. Okay, sorry for that. J S plus beta is equal to torque S minus kappa times theta S divided by J S. Okay, J S plus beta. Okay, so in order to produce gamma, omega, sorry for that, omega, I need to technically have a transfer function which is in the form of 1 over J S plus B, which is fine, we have here. But input of this transfer function is not the torque. It's torque minus 
Papa theta s. So what I need to do is I need to modify it. Okay, I need to add a difference operator here. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so I need to add a difference operator here. Okay, so this should be positive and there should be some negative here. Okay, let's clean this structures, these parts. Okay, that's great. So this is same. So current kappa is torque, torque is directly fed to the transfer function, but I need a negative feedback coming from the output, new output, which is equal to theta. No, now I need a new feedback structure. And this simple two modification finalizes the model of this new system. Okay, this is one of the beautiful things about log diagram structures. You can do it very easily. You can do a similar thing with state space. But if you have a transfer function for the first system, it's really hard to find the transfer function of the new system just looking at the structures. Okay, so if you look at this, this is the block structure of this new system. We have the input voltage and output is the angular change, angular displacement of the output load. Okay, now let's uh, try to use uh, block diagram simplification techniques and uh, try to find transfer function between the input and the new output. Okay, so let's look at here. So the problem, if you remember uh, one of the previous uh, video examples, I have two feedback loops and they are interconnected to each other. They are not isolated, okay? Because this feedback is coming from intermediate variable, okay? And similarly, this feedback is affecting this first loop in an intermediate step. So what I need to do is I need to somehow isolate these two feedback loops and try to simplify it. So in order to do that, what I do is I cut this line, okay? And I technically draw it from here, okay? But of course, I cannot do it easily because this feedback was coming from angular velocity, but now I have a feedback from the angular displacement or angular position. Uh, what I need to do is I need to take the derivative, which is technically multiplying with s. I add an s here. That's nice. Okay, so I simplified this program structure. And the good thing is, in this case, I can, as you can see, isolate this block diagram or this feedback loop from the outer loop, okay? So I can also draw it like this, that's fine, okay? So what I can do is, I can simplify this feedback structure, this internal feedback structure, to a, have a single block diagram from this input, to this output. And okay, let's say that this is GI, noting for the internal feedback loop, is equal to technically, okay, G of S, one plus, G of S, H of S, if you remember, okay? So I, I really want you to be very fluent in this kind of very simple operations. It is equal to one over J S, okay, so for that, uh, one over S times J S plus B, okay, one plus kappa S times J S plus beta, okay, so if I simplify it, I will find that this is equal to Okay, that's nice. That's kappa here. 1 over j s square plus beta s plus kappa. That's great. Okay, so technically I will replace this whole internal block diagram feedback structure into this. Okay, now we have a more straightforward a single feedback structure. It's super easy to simplify it. What I need to do is this is my g of s. This is my h of s. And uh, G O S, the outer loop is simply equal to G of S, this new G of S, 1 plus G of S times H of S. If you compute the transfer function, you will see that the transfer function of the whole system is equal to this K A divided by J times L A S Q plus. It goes like this, and we find a third order transfer function, which makes sense because if you remember in the previous case, okay, in this problem, Okay, so, uh, so we had a second order transfer function, but now what we added is we changed the output, we added a new variable which is an energy storage element, which is a torsion spring. Now instead of angular velocity, we have angular position, which is a technically adding an integrator and adding an order to the system, and at the end we have a third order transfer function, as you can see in this 
uh, block diagram, uh, simplified block diagram topology.